Yo, what's up, dude? So something a little bit different today. I have this. An envelope from Switzerland. You see it right there. I have a little, little close-up shot of it right here. Somewhere around here. Right? Ah, there it is. So, uh, some of you probably know what this is. All right. There we go. Anything else in the envelope? No. Again, there's a little sticker on the back. And there you go. Okay. Uh, this is what is in there there and let's see what we got Ooh, check this out check that out seeing that that's some that's some serious pics right there <laughs> look at those nice oh and I think that's the uh, oh, this side I think that's the surprise. So he, he wrote in there, he said, you know, uh, I think when I was placing the order, basically, um, if you want to, you can put in his price. Oh, and he's even, he, he dated it right there. See that? There's the date. See him there? Looks like that. Okay, we need to take a look at these. Oh, it's a little, how wonderful. Oh, we'll, we'll pull that off. Um, if you're wondering if this is a sponsored video or anything, it's not. I um, and thank you for your support. You are now a proud owner of some original Huffschmidt, 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 Plectrums. I'm terrible with names. Uh, exquisitely crafted in. You're killing me again. A Eagle, Asia, Switzerland, by artisan luthier Patrick Huffschmidt. And uh, then he signs. I don't know if you can see that he signs and dates it. You see that? Isn't that nice? Little little value added. You see that right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. And then of course a little brochure. And we can talk about some of the ones I didn't get. But maybe on the next order I'll get something. Um like you know, I guess he does guitars as well. Look at those; those are those are attractive-looking guitars. And right there, okay. Uh, wow. That's a man's pick. Wow. Those are uh, wow. Those are some serious picks. <laughs> And people say, well, how would you even use a pick like this? And the answer is, very carefully. We use it very, very carefully. Look at that. So here's my... Here's my... Uh, my regular pick. And, and that pick. You see the difference in the size right there. Wow. Wow. Again, we'll get it. Let's we'll see if we can get this camera to focus. There it is. Look at that. It's, uh, yeah, wow. <laughs> and again, and, and my picks are pretty thick. Look at that. Wow. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. And of course, if we do it sideways. So I went with the red, went with the orange, and then I did the yellow, but I did the matte yellow instead of the gloss, just to mix it up a little bit, again, for, for size comparison. I don't know if I can get this on camera here. Here we go. Yeah, right about there. All right. Pretty nice. And then the last one, 
is this one here. Look at that. Look at that big old pick. Hello. <laughs> wow. I thought I had got some smaller ones, but apparently I, I went mega. I went mega. <laughs> And people say, like, you know, how, how would you even use a pick like that, um, you know, in a regular picking? But you can. Uh, and, and, you know, in these picks, I would, I, I don't want to call them novelties, right? Because they're not, without a doubt, they are legit, serious picks. But, quite frankly, they're really good, sort of, um... You know, conversation pieces when you have other guitar players over. I mean, you can talk about guitars so much, but these are varied, inexpensive, and, and kind of a you know a fun little thing. Look at that monstrosity, though. Jeez, that's uh, that's crazy. So, like, let's just do a little comparison. My regular pick. <laughs> the thinnest pick from this group i'd say about the same thickness this one here roughly uh just on the table they feel about the same thickness and then this is the next thickness I think it's roughly this shape and size that I first saw when I was in Germany at Tolman. I was doing a video where I was talking with everybody else who was there. I had them, you know, show me their pick and what they're using. And Colin Scott had one of these. He goes, well, I, I sort of like use this pick, but sometimes I like kind of odd special picks, you know. And... uh he, he pulled one like this out. Again, let's let's put them over here. You can kind of see them. And then here's a couple of my standard picks. All right? All right? You can see this is a this is a big that's a big pick. <laughs> that's a that's a man's pick. Uh, see if I can get these over in this other shot here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up there. You can just see the thickness. You know? Look at that. Okay. Let's get a guitar. Let's plug it in. And we'll try them out. Back in a sec. All right. We're back. <laughs> Oh, oh, these are fun. <laughs> these are fun. In fact, quite frankly, as I'm playing them, I'm already kind of thinking of the other ones I saw on the website. I wouldn't mind checking out. They had some honeycomb ones that look pretty cool. Gotta get, you got to get the angle, though. Quite frankly, I could go with something a little bit smaller and, and just general size, but... The material is great. Oh yeah, everything. And of course for your... I mean, could there be an easier pick to do that? Alright, so... That's this one. Let's try, um... Old Yeller. Oh yeah, so very different shape. Oh yeah. Oh, 
So this one, the material, I can hear on the string. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. Because you want to chirp, but you can't have too much of a chirp. Like, like metal or stone can be really chirpy. And acrylic can too. Trust me, I've been using acrylic chick, uh, acrylic picks for like uh, about four years now, five years. The ultimate pick slide. All right, we got this. Oh my God, this might be my favorite so far. You see, the thing is, is it, it's, a, it's almost a weird thing where because the pick is so much wider, it's so much thicker, the, you can have more economy of motion on your hand, right? So just knowing the amount of, of travel that my hand needs to do with a regular thickness pick like this, let me just show you the two thicknesses here, right? It, you, you get there, it feels like I'm getting there a little faster with the thicker pick. Like I'm barely moving it. Right? Or at least it feels that way. Okay, and this one also, because of the... Um, I don't know, there's something about this one, it feels a little smoother. Maybe it's the material, maybe it's the cut, but it, it rolls off the string a little easier. But still has a tack. See, I didn't get one of the, any of the real rounded ones because I was worried about a total loss of attack. Also, why I didn't get one of the honeycomb ones because it looked like it would be too round. If you notice, all the ones I got are very pointy. I went with uh, with very pointy tips. If you can, uh, again, I'll show them here on this this close up cam here. <coughs> yeah. You imagine using this as like your regular pick, right? You you pull one off your micro off your microphone stand. And you like whip it out of the audience, and you just see some dude like right down, like flag. Ah! Why God? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, this one sounds really different. Yeah, you, you, I moved it to the middle. Okay, so this one. Very comfortable pick, very comfortable pick. Oh, this is a really nice pick. It's got a little bit more of an extended nose on it, right? So you can see, right? It, it, uh, the beak comes down at a uh, at a sharper angle, right? It's a much wider angle. There's a much sharper angle. So you get, I'm, I'm feeling more attack, you know? I'm feeling more attack with this. This is an extremely comfortable pick, though, in the hand. All right, 
So let's talk about uh, price. Now, as you know, I use uh, Dawman. Man. I've been with Dawman Man for a long time. I love the Dawman, Man, and Dawman Man is it generally my pick. But I wanted to I wanted to try some some picks, and, and like I said, I had seen some of these online uh, on YouTube, and I had seen um, one in person at Tolman when I was there uh, it, doing the Tolman uh, Gearhead University. I think that was the 2018 one. Um, we went around, and there was one. I want to say his was. I think I think his was closer to like this one. This one here. If this camera would come into focus, yeah. Like this one, like that one. I think it, it could have been like it could have been like this one, All right? Oh yeah, but it was huge though, and I was like, "What are you? What is that craziness?" Um, and so I wanted to try them out. Now, uh, uh, these picks, I, I I had a budget, and my budget was I wanted to spend around a hundred dollars. Or 100 euros, really. I, I didn't mind the conversion rate, even though the conversion rate is there. And I did. I did. I I spent uh, 25, 25, and 25, and one of these was 30, right? I forget which one was which, but it was like 25, 25, 25, and 30. Um, and I got to be more cognizant of the size, because I, I, I wanted to try different. So these are all kind of the same size. Uh, I wanted to try some smaller ones, right? Some of the, the mini ones. So uh, next round, I'll, I'll, I'll try them uh, again. So this was 105 uh, euros in uh, picks. Um, and then it was uh, $10 in shipping. Uh, 10, not $10, 10 euros in shipping. Uh, so that brought the total up to uh, 115 euros. Now, I live in America, so the I, I had to get converted. <clears throat> After the conversion from uh, dollars to from euros to dollars, I want to say it was one hundred and thirty-six dollars. Might have been one hundred and thirty-five. There was no more than one hundred and thirty-six. Um, I forget if it was one hundred and thirty-six or it was one hundred and thirty-five, and I rounded up in my mind because it was high, and I was like, "Oh, it's one hundred thirty-six bucks, right?" But um, so it wasn't, you know, very expensive. And, you know, that's this is the type of pick that, you know, if your car breaks down, you can use it to stop one of your rear wheels as you jack up one of the front wheels. <laughs> just put this on. Just put this on. It's, it's got a number of functions. Uh, but I, I tell you, I, I, I hesitate and, and I really don't. You, you can't you can't call it a novelty you really can't i think it's easy to but it, it they're not god I, I again i i this one's the best one I, after playing them all i'm ready to, to declare a winner you know what this one could become a daily driver i that's how much i like this pick you know what I like about it? I like the fact that it gets a little larger from the back to the front and then smaller again. You see that? It's got a, it's a little bulbous in the middle. All these other ones are flat, right? You see that? They're all flat, and then they have a drop-off at the end. This one is sculpted better this is a really good pick a really really good pick and again fun right um i i think um i think bobby's gonna come by uh tomorrow i think he's gonna like these It's gonna get the. You know, once you get it sort of fit fit in, in this corner here, you see that? They kind of it's a, it's kind of snuggy. Where it becomes a, a bit of an extension of your hand.
Yeah, yeah. No, uh, I really like this pick a lot. So, you know, and part of this was to just to experiment and figure out what shape I like. Uh, this this is by far the best uh, one of the of the four. It's a very extremely comfortable pick, and um, that's a pleasure to use. Um, I would say my least favorite is probably this this yellow one, just because I can feel this hardened edge on the back of my hand a little bit. All right. Actually, maybe it's not as bad as I thought. But, I, you know, once you go from that sculpted back to the flat, although this pick is pretty awesome. And then, uh, lastly, um, I think which which seems to be one of the thinnest. Uh, so here's a funny thing that I'm just sort of like discovering. I I went with, if you notice. Like on this table here, if you notice, I went with kind of two th real thick ones and two thinner ones, right? You can see them here on this on the on this table here. Um, I think I, you know, maybe they're not quite in focus here. We'll get them in focus here. <laughs> I think that I, I, I when I got the thicker ones, I was sort of hedging my bets, right? I was like, you know, maybe you don't want, maybe you don't want a pick that thick. Maybe you really, just just to be sure you get something you can deal with, get the thinner ones. I'm going to be honest right now, I like the thicker one, All right? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm putting the, I'm, I'm putting these in order of rating. They're all, they're all good. They're all great picks. There's nothing wrong with any of them. But I think I, this one, I think because of the hard edge on the top, I think this one, because of these are two in the thinner category, I think I like them thicker. I think this one, just because it's flat, and this one wins in all categories. It's thick. It's got a uh, the more curved, uh, you know, uh, body to it, and um, you know, it's got the nice uh, articulate point to it. Yeah, yeah, pretty awesome. So there you go. Um, I'll leave a link to their website. Again, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. Uh, I literally paid for these and, and had them shipped here. Um, and I don't have affiliate links or anything like that. This is a, a straight up. I was curious. I wanted to check these picks out. And uh, I bought four of them. I, bought, I, spent, I wanted to spend 100 bucks, and I did. But I, I could see myself going back. I wouldn't mind trying the honeycomb one. Uh, they had a, well, those in a bunch of different colors, and uh, and they had a couple of really interesting designs, like sort of like marbled, kind of looked like marble, quite frankly. Uh, they had a few different ones. So I, I got to go back, and I, I really like this one. I like that curve front and back. I wouldn't mind trying that in a few other designs, you know, just to see, to see what I like. And again, it's just a fool around. And then when you have friends come over... You're like, excuse me while I, while I whip this out. <laughs> that's a, that's a man's pick. Well, you know, what kind of pick are you using? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah check that out. Uh, too funny. All right, dudes, I'll leave a link in the description. It's uh, Huffschmid. I'm terrible at names. Apologies up front for butchering that name, which I'm sure I'm doing. Uh, but check out their picks. I, I think they're, um, I think they're worth, uh, at the very least, just checking out. You know, I, uh, uh, I again, I'm, I'm sort of enamored with this one. Let me get it on the, on the, on the, the close cam here. This one. That's sort of like design right there. Cool stuff. All right, dudes, as always, 
Thanks so much for hanging out and rock on.